YouTube, YouTube. Back at you again with another video. So, I haven't seen a video on this 2019 Kawasaki Ninja 400 on YouTube at all. Um, I've seen 2018s, I've seen 300s, but not 2019, 400. So today, we get the timestamp. Uh, what we're gonna do is a basic oil change, the first oil change, a 600 mile oil change. A lot of people say you can take your bike to a dealer, it's good to take it to a dealer. But I'm pretty hands-on with most of my stuff, so I, I'm doing it myself today. I will document it though. Uh, yeah. So right now, I don't know if you can hear, but the bike is getting warm. Because it's good to have the bike warm so the oil is lubricated throughout the engine. And it's going to remove all that excess sludge or whatever you might have. The bike is brand new, so I'm sure it doesn't have any. But whatever. So the bike is, is almost warm. It's getting close to being pretty warm. I have 620 miles on the bike right now. Um, so yeah, so the oil I bought. Also, the, the, the parts that I'm going to put on today is in the description below. So just look in the description, you'll see everything. Most of it I got off Amazon, by the way. But um, I got some Royal Purple uh, 1040 High Performance Motor Oil for motorcycles and ATVs. That's the oil I have. For this bike, you only need two quarts. So that. And I know a lot of people online say that when you buy They've been saying a lot of bad things about K&N, um, especially like the forms. But I mostly sit on the 2018 and the Ninja 300. But I got a, a K&N uh, oil filter. What's cool about these oil filters is you can change out the cartridge on the inside and keep the canister. And you can reuse the canister over and over and over. That's pretty cool. Um, which I saw on their website, pretty dope. But whatever, so that's what I'm gonna install today is this K&N oil filter and some royal purple oil. Um, so the bike is pretty warm. Uh, the fan haven't kicked on yet, but I mean, it's, it's pretty warm, it's up there. So I'm gonna turn the bike off. You can turn it off any way you wish, but I'm just gonna turn mine off like that. Um, first thing you wanna do, first thing I normally do whenever I change oil on anything, I always attack that filter first. In case that filter won't come off, you don't wanna drain the oil. And then now you gotta put clean oil to get the bike to a shop to take that filter off. So I always go for the filter first. If I break the filter, just poke a hole with a flathead or a screwdriver and then break it loose, turn it off, then you drain the oil. That's my advice, you don't have to use it, but it's helped me in a lot of sticky situations to where I would have friends bring their cars over and we can't get that oil filter off, but then you've already drained the oil, now you gotta put clean oil in the car to get it to a shop, if that makes sense. Um, I've done that several times on my own car and I regret it every time. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take off the oil filter and if you don't know where the oil filter is, it is at the very bottom. It's right when you look underneath, it's right here. That's the oil filter and this here is the drain plug. So, oh, one more thing. I did purchase for this oil change a magnetic, um, was it drain plug? So I have a magnetic drain plug and another banjo uh, cr crush washer. Good stuff. So let me let me switch over. Let me put my gloves on and let's get started. All right. So real quick, guys, what I usually like to do is I usually like to just loosen or make sure I can loosen this uh, drain plug. Oh, it's, it's pretty loose. All right. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to make sure I can take off that oil filter which I cannot. So let me go get her at my special tool. So guys, this is what I call my special tool. But basically what it does is it grabs onto the filter and allows you to turn it. Uh -oh. crushing the filter but it's not coming off so let me stop the tape all right guys after mandling and fighting and damn near breaking the whole thing i finally got it off so let me show you guys what it looks like i crushed the hell out of the filter though i'll be honest with you 
I don't care. It's coming off anyway. Man, that oil looks clear as day. Why am I changing the oil? You have to at 600 miles. But you see, I crushed up the filter pretty bad, but I needed it to come off, so whatever. <clears throat> ah. Okay, so another thing that I don't ever really see people do, whenever they do an oil change to a car, I learned this <clears throat> on one of the jobs I had a very long time ago, and it, it, it taught me a lot especially when it comes to oil. You know how when you change the oil, um, if you really pay attention to the car, it has, oh, it's already coated. Hell yeah. Okay, can then. Sending them coated already. Okay, look at you. Um, I don't know if you noticed this, but whenever you change oil in a car, you're, you're, it's recommended, you don't have to, but I always do, whenever I do an oil change, is I add a little bit of oil to the, um, to the oil filter so that way when the bike is 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 uh started or when a car is started it's not looking for the oil it's not there's no gap of oil needing to be filled in so what i do is i do it like this so now i got a little bit of oil in the filter so that way when the bike starts it's already oil in there it's not like waiting to to get into position or waiting for the light to go off. You know how sometimes when you start a car and they don't have any oil, it makes like a knocking sound? That knocking sound is because you don't have any oil in there. So my recommendation is to always put a little bit of oil in the filter too. So that way you know you have oil in the filter and it's not gonna have give you any issues when it comes to starting. Just making sure the area is nice and dry and clean before I put the Canon filter in. All right. And then, you know to be messed up? Because the wrong part number. But, but whatever, it's the right one. All right, so that part is done. I'm gonna tighten it up real quick. Um, sorry, if you can't see this, I apologize. Only because I can't see. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a wrench, I'm gonna put it on the end of here, and I'm gonna tighten it down a little bit. But I just wanna focus on getting the oil out of the bike. So take off this drain plug. Make sure you remove that washer also so it can drain properly. So easy, man. Oh, gosh. Whatever, now the oil looks dirty. From this angle, yeah, it does look dirty. But whatever. So let's let this finish draining. And then we're gonna put the new oil in, some of that royal purple. And then I'm also gonna change out this drain plug. I'm gonna put the magnetic tip rain, uh, drain plug that I picked up uh, on the bike. So that way if there's any metal inside of the bike whatsoever, it's gonna kick that metal and stick it to the drain plug. Okay. These guys out. Red match. Yeah, the threads match, all right, good. All right, I'm not gonna get rid of the, the rubber O-ring. I'm gonna leave it there. It's there for a reason. And I'm just gonna add the washer to it so that way you have double the seal. Just to make sure nothing comes out or leaks out while I'm riding. Yeah, let all of it drain out. Set these down. And now I'm just let this finish draining and then I'll see you guys in a second. It's drained out. There's nothing else there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the new drain plug with the magnetic tip on. Wow, real good fit too. Move this. spillage anywhere around the crankcase on the ground or anything I always like to keep it clean all right so now that we know that that's good uh, this is not gonna fit I think that's a 15 but if I got my measurements right it's a 15 is a 15 14 
All right. Tighten the drain plug. All right, it's nice and tight. Got my makeshift funnel going. Oh no. Oh yeah, that'll work. So let me go ahead and take off the tops of both of these guys. I know I'm gonna use the whole quartz. We're gonna give her some love. So what I do is I put it like this at an angle where I know the tip is gonna be in and I just pour the oil in. No matter what, it's gonna go inside. See all this beautiful, delicious, royal purple oil in there? The only part where there may be some spillage is when I remove this bottle cap thing off. So with that part, it's just a, a drip or a drop. So to me, it doesn't really matter. Um, but you do want to get the angle correct too. So if you get the angle just right, it won't have any drips. Let's get all of it in there, all of it. Um, okay, so that's that one. I have a little bit of oil in the sight glass. I'm just gonna add the rest. I'm not gonna add all of it. I'm gonna stop halfway just to start the bike, see where it, see where it is, and then I'll pour the rest. I wanna be sure I don't overfill the bike. So I'll stop halfway. It's about half. Yep. All right, so this part is where it gets a little tricky. So what you gotta do is you lift it up above the drain and then what I do is I just move it after the second drip. Alright, so now we're going to start it and see what we get. Alright guys, so I just wrapped up the oil change on a Kawasaki Ninja 400 2019. And I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope that you guys